Hey everyone, I'm Argofumpf, and this is Sherlock Holmes, The Mystery of the Persian Carpet. This is one of the earlier Sherlock Holmes video games. Uh, we have three different gameplay modes. The easy mode comes with uh, seven puzzles that can be skipped, and I believe seven hints per chapter. The other two modes, you'll notice, are exactly the same, except for the investigation. Uh, in adventure mode, you get free investigation. Free! So you're free to do whatever you want, um, within reason. You can't, like, tell Sherlock Holmes to punch one of the suspects. That would be crazy. But, uh, in any case, let, let's see how the game starts. This summer is decidedly stifling, Holmes. Why don't you take a holiday in the country, Watson? Why don't you get away from me, Watson? Just go away so I don't have to deal with you anymore, Watson. Eh. That is an angry-looking Sherlock Holmes. An excellent idea, Holmes! Will you accompany me? I think I shall answer this note from Scotland Yard instead. Scotland Yard? Do you recall that we received a plea for help yesterday? Yes, to resolve the mysterious murder of a poor, miserable painter. No suspects, no leads, but you said you don't have time for this type of business. Even though that's literally your job. Yes, well, <clears throat> I have just learned that the young man was found rolled up in a remarkable carpet. Remarkable? An expensive Persian carpet that had been stolen. And? That changes everything, Watson! Will you accompany me? I have to solve the mystery if a Persian carpet is involved. I love carpets, you know. <clears throat> My dear Watson, let's start level one. By acquainting ourselves with this affair, we can go to the uh, scenes of the investigation and pass by Scotland Yard. But first, do you know how to work computers? So, uh, with computers, you can click in the upper right-hand corner. See that X in the upper right-hand corner? You can click on that X in order to close a window. That is how computers work. Yes, yes, yes indeed. Okay. So... Um, we have, uh, the three different areas we can explore. We can explore Sherlock Holmes' house. There's nothing going on here. Uh, we can also investigate. That's, uh, place number two here in the upper left-hand corner. Let's investigate. Let's investigate the deserted room. So we're gonna start off with a big tutorial, because we just started the game. Yes, I know we just went through some tutorial screens. We get more tutorials. Haha! <laughs> so, you want to click on all the items that are listed at the bottom of the screen. If you have gears, that means you can interact with things. Let's see, you can use the matches on the lamp. Again, more interacting with things. Okay, so uh, what are these items at the bottom of the screen? We need a carpet, uh, a note, and a green cloth. So, green cloth, and a carpet, Ooh, and we also need some dirt. Some dirt. DIRT! Woohoo! So, you find all the items, the final item is the note, and that item is actually a puzzle. So, you're going to take the item and click the puzzle button to start the puzzle. This is paper. It was written by the landlady. The victim's landlady. So, that's where we are. I think we're at the scene where the body was discovered. Although, I don't believe this is where, uh, where, where the person was killed. So this is a rather simple puzzle, just click on a piece and drag it to where it needs to go. Uh, right click in order to rotate a piece, looks like this goes up here. Mr. Gordon, thank you for your help. I have deducted it from your rent. Thus you still have seven pounds fifty pence to settle. Where's my money, Mr. Gordon? Give me my money! So now we know where the unfortunate painter was living. And you can use the hint button to highlight a hidden object. Even though we already found all the objects, so there's really no need to use a hint to find one. Cool! Bravo, Holmes! Such talent! Aha! Yes, okay, so that's it for investigation. Uh, let's go to Scotland Yard, where we do, well, investigation. But it's a different kind of investigation. Okay, so uh, let's check out the crime report file. So, here's the report on, on the victim. Uh, first we're going to solve a puzzle, then we'll read the report. So, okay, so, what matches with carpet? What matches with the carpet here in the lower left? Uh, the word carpet. The word carpet matches with carpet. Cool. 
So we need to find matches for all these items. It looks like blood and a knife. Okay, so Vincent Gordon, he is known to the police force. He's an artist. He is a robber. Oh, no. Uh, released due to lack of proof, though. That's why he wasn't arrested. Um, killed with white weapon. Okay, weapon. That's obviously the knife. Stabbed in the back. Rolled up in a carton. Uh, uh, rolled up in a carpet, which was stolen from the Sparrow residence. And... Lots of blood on the carpet. Bravo, Holmes! Such talent! Such talent. Okay, so let's see some witness testimony. Here's the guy who found the body. I always stop my rounds at 6 o'clock in the evening. I don't only check the room twice. I always take good care because of that room. I take good care to check the room because I'd been home to vagabonds at one point. So my dog smelled the intruder as soon as he got near the place. I started on my third round when Toby started to growl, so I ran towards the room and saw the carpet. I thought to myself, ho ho, this is my lucky day. I can steal this carpet, I can sell it for a mighty amount of money, but then I unrolled the carpet, and by Jove, there was blood, and it was not my lucky day. It was not my lucky day at all. There's a dead person there. Oh. Bravo, Holmes. Such talent. Okay, so that puzzle is one of the hardest puzzles in the game. What you need to do is click the button at the bottom of the screen. That's that's how you solve that puzzle. Woohoo! And we're finished with level number one! Woo! Amazing. Amazing. So, uh, level two. This business seems simple, Watson, but I already sense something out of the ordinary in it. Shall we see what Mrs. Pittycoat's testimony will tell us? Yes, we will. So, um, uh, uh, as you saw earlier, uh, the difference between Adventure Mode and the other mode was uh, you have free gameplay. So um, in the uh, non-Adventure Mode, you go to Scotland Yard first, and then you do the investigation. Here in free play, we can do uh, Investigation first, and then Scotland Yard. And we could do, like, Sherlock Holmes first, and then and then the Investigation, and then, and then Scotland Yard. So that... That's basically the difference between the two gameplay modes. In the other gameplay mode, it's always you're going to these places from right to left. Uh, here in free mode, we can do it any order we want. But you'll notice there's actually no place that we can investigate. So we actually do have to uh, investigate here at Scotland Yard first. Oh boy. Okay, so uh, Mrs. Pitticoat. Okay, so again, we have this really, really tricky puzzle. What we need to do is click the arrow at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so I click here. Oh, oh no, I got that wrong. Okay, um, do I click here? No, uh, on her nose. Oh, where am I supposed to click? Oh, wait, here. Yeah! Woo! All right! Oh, man! Bravo! I'm a great detective! Woo! Great detective! And I don't think there's anything else for us to check out here at Scotland Yard. Nope! Okay. Then, uh, Let's investigate at Mrs. Pitticoat's house. So here's another um, difference between the two uh, modes, is we've got two places to explore here in her house. Uh, in in free play mode, we can examine them in any order. In the other mode, you, you do one before the other. I think we do the chamber first. So let's uh, do the chamber. Okay, so you can zoom in on areas. Uh, zoom in on areas, find some items. Uh, again, you can use the hint button to find items. Looks like this is the knife. We're gonna look for blood. And we're also gonna need a water pitcher. And we've kind of got a complicated puzzle here. So I'm gonna ignore that complicated puzzle for now and go to the garden where we have a bunch of hidden items. Okay, so uh, let's see. We need traces of mud. That wasn't mud, but that was traces of something. There's the traces of mud. It can be hard to find the mud traces, because it's just like a dirty blob in the middle of nowhere. So, um, the garden key is uh, up in the planter. What we want to do is take the garden key and use it to open the door. And behind this pot is a letter. And let's see if we can find any of the other items that are located here. There's a shoe. I need to find a garden knife and a menacing letter. And yeah, we've only got two hints left. Don't worry, the hints refill after every single level. So once you finish the level, you get another set of hints. 
that's good, unless you're at the very end of the level, or, or you know, like, you use up all your hints at the start of the level, and then you want to finish the level, and you can't use any hints because all your hints are gone. That's always tragic. Okay, so we've got a puzzle here, too, and, uh, and I'll start off the next video with some puzzle solving.